Hey guys, I'm back with Yamadichi A7, and today we will talk about camera of this smartphone. We already made unboxing, performance test and battery test of this mobile device. You can watch all videos by the link in description. Actually, we will have one more video about Yamadichi A7 with the final conclusions, pros and cons of this smartphone. The link to the video will also be in description. Please check it. Ok, hit the like button and let's get started. Yamadichi A7 is ultra-budget smartphone of about $85, however, it has quad camera on the rear panel, 16MP main sensor, 8MP ultra-wide-angle camera, 5MP macro camera and 5MP depth camera. The selfie camera is 16 megapixels. The cameras are very impressive for smartphone under $100, do you agree? Now let's take a look at camera up on Yamadichi A7. On the main screen we can see 4 shooting modes, video, picture, portrait and extra. In the extra there is only pro mode. If you want to use ultra-wide-angle camera or macro camera, then tap on picture mode. It seems that we cannot shoot video on a wide-angle camera. In photo settings you have the following options – location, grid line, touch capture, self-timer, picture size, watermark, ZDS, and shutter sound. The video settings menu has location, grid line, video quality, and microphone. As you can see, there is no image stabilization. I have already took many photos in different light conditions and shooting modes. I will show you a comparison of photos on 16MP main camera and 8MP wide-angle camera. As you can see, the photos on the main camera are better quality. However, I really like wide-angle camera and I often use it on my daily driver smartphone. I'm surprised that the Yamadichi A7 that costs only $85 has a wide-angle camera. The photos are good. From other side I think that the portrait and macro cameras are fake. I couldn't take portrait and macro images on this smartphone. I also made many photos at night. You know, you can take really good pictures in low light conditions. Even the front camera has portrait mode, and it really works. Talking about video shooting, the main problem is that Humidity J7 doesn't have image stabilization. The video is sharp and colors are good, but the footage is shaky and focus jumps.
so it was the last video of Humo Digi A7. In general, the camera is good for ultra-budget smartphone. I want to recall once again that this phone costs only $85. You can take really good photos on the main camera and even wide-angle camera. However, portrait and macro cameras look like fake. Anyway, I don't use them at all, so it is not a big problem for me. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I will tell you about all the pros and cons of this smartphone. See you soon.